Good morning. It has been several weeks now since Pastor Chris spoke with me about uh, an initiative that would um, help make the local church a house of prayer. And um, I began to pray and then spoke with him many times since that uh, day and uh, we have come up with a plan together and um, would like to share it with you and give you the invitation to uh, a house of prayer ministry um, it's a call to prayer we have entitled it are you all in the capital letter r are you in are you all in it's a call to prayer, an invitation to prayer, to God's house of prayer locally at Nashua Cis Baptist Church. Or uh, if you were unable to get out, it would be in your home, uh, in your apartment, uh, in your residence, uh, perhaps in your room uh, at the uh, care homes. We're not sure. And perhaps you want to be outside but uh, this is how it unfolds. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen the slogan, um, All In. Uh, it's on a ball cap that we had at uh, Sobeys, and it was Marshall. You've seen Paw Patrol. It was Marshall with uh, the slogan over the top, um, All In. I'm sure you remember uh, the 2019 uh, series of the Raptors when they won. Unfortunately, we don't have as good news this week, but uh, many of the people were holding up signs that said all in. So we're inviting you to a call to prayer to be all in, to be uh, completely devoted, totally committed to uh, a call uh, to pray. It's heart, soul, mind, and strength, as we read in Mark chapter 12 and verse 30. Um, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And of course, we know it goes on in verse 31, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two greatest commandments in the Bible. So we want to be completely available to God for prayer. Uh, we know that... Isaiah uh, 56 and verse 7, God said that his house would be called a house of prayer. <clears throat> Jesus uh, cleansed the temple and cleared the temple and said, My father's house shall be called a house of prayer. Uh, you have made it something totally opposite, and it's not honoring to God's. We want to honor God in his house of prayer. We know his presence fills all of heaven and earth, so we cannot contain him in a building, but we want to have a focus in our community as the Lord's house being a house of prayer. So the church, uh, locally and in your home, because the presence of Christ lives in you, can be a house of prayer. So we continue to navigate the uh, COVID-19 restrictions and we want to respect the government and uh, the restrictions that they have put in place. And when you go into National Access Baptist Church, there are guidelines for entering the building, for moving throughout the building and where you can and cannot go and the direction to go. But uh, with respect to all of that, we still want to, to invite you to this opportunity to a house of prayer. We felt it was doable. Um, it's manageable because it's fewer people at one time. So we're inviting you individually to come in and pray uh, in a quiet time of prayer. Um, so we will be opening the doors on, we're starting Tuesday night, uh, September 15th at 6.30 p.m. And you can come in the church, uh, be advised as to the restrictions and how to move about in the building and go to the sanctuary where you will be given uh, a sheet of paper as a guide to uh, that prayer, are you in, are you all in? There are six words that we want to draw your attention to. Reverence, um, remember, repentance, restoration, 
requests and rejoice. So reverence for God and who he is and uh, remember and repentance and restoration requests and rejoice. It will unfold that way uh, with those six words, beginning with the letter R. Each week, scripture readings, words of songs, complimentary readings will be suggested or provided on a prayer guide to assist you in, number one, reverence, a time of giving God glory, honor, strength that is due his name. Two, <clears throat> remember, a time of remembering who we are in Christ. Three, repentance, a time of seeking God's face and asking him to search our hearts and to cleanse us of any offensive ways that could hinder our praying. Four, restoration, a time of personal strengthening, renewing our commitment, praying for ministry strengthening, praying for family strengthening, praying that uh, God's people will be united in one heart and one mind to glorify God. Number five, requests. A time of presenting requests to God. We know that uh, Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7, we're invited to uh, lay our requests before God with thanksgiving. So it's a time of presenting requests to God for salvation, for healing, for reconciliation, comfort, rescue from the enemy, spiritual awakening, revival, a great harvest of souls. That will be in your guide and you will take time quietly as an individual uh, in prayer. And number six, rejoice, a time of giving thanks and praise to God for his promises, his faithfulness, his unfailing love, hope, and peace. Because God is with us, we want the world to know that God is in control, that God is with us. I would advise you and encourage you to please bring your own Bible or a cell phone with the Bible app every Tuesday at 6.30, beginning September 15th. If you come to the sanctuary at National Access Baptist Church, please follow directions for safe distancing and protection according to the government's directions for COVID-19. We're praying that God's almighty power will advance and fulfill his purposes, his kingdom purposes, and bring about revival, bring about a great harvest of souls, and bring about a returning to him. The exciting thing for me recently, as uh, we've been talking and praying together with Pastor Chris and myself, and even with some friends of mine, is that um, I discovered on the internet that houses of prayer are popping up all around Jerusalem, all over Israel, and they're praying for revival for a great harvest of souls. When I heard that, uh, I was part of that uh, viewing and even the prayer walk when they were praying for a great harvest of souls and, and uh, revival around the world. So it's an exciting adventure. We have no idea how many will be taking part. And we hope and pray that other houses of prayer will be popping up all around uh, Fredericton, around um, the outlying uh, communities and towns uh, all over New Brunswick and we hope that it'll sweep across Canada. So we invite you to this, uh, to this avenue, this opportunity for House of Prayer ministry. God bless you and keep you. God make his face to shine upon you and, and be gracious to you. God lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God is in control. God is great. God is awesome. Let's give him reverence. Let's uh, come before him in prayer and give him the glory that is due his name.